Safety and peace, Malik. Word that the city was possessed of either. Why do you trouble me today? Al Mualim has marked Mejduddin for death. What can you tell me about him? Salahuddin's absence has left the city without a proper leader, and Mejduddin has appointed himself to play the part. Fear and intimidation get him what he wants. He has no true claim to the position. That ends today. You speak too readily. This is not some slaver we're discussing. He rules Jerusalem and is well protected because of it. I suggest you plan your attack carefully. Get to better know your prey. With your help, I will. Where would you have me begin my search? What's this? You're actually asking for my assistance instead of demanding it. I'm impressed. Be out with it. As you wish. Here's where I would look. First, to the southwest near the mosque. After that, head south of here. There are two locations that might interest you. The southernmost church is one, the other is in the streets, near a synagogue. Thank you for your help, Dai. Don't foul this, Altair. Altair, I meant to meet a contact nearby, but the guards seem to have it in for me. Every time I leave here, I'm attacked and forced to flee. I'm simply not the fighter I once was. Would you be willing to see me safely to my destination? Death to the infidel! safe here. They won't dare spill blood in front of a holy place. In the chaos, I managed to grab this from one of the guards. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. See the order? He wants us to repair a stage for another execution. Today? It's the one at the western edge of Solomon's temple. I was on my way just now. So much death. Worried that our true leader might return. 
and bring a measure of justice to this city. Yes, and not this mockery Mr. Dean parades before us. How? How does something like this happen? Everyone appointed in Salah Hadin's stead is met with an untimely end. And now, the position falls to him. He, who was once nothing more than the Emir's scribe. How convenient. It would not surprise me to learn he was behind these accidents. Shh! If the guards hear us, we'll be taken for treason. Executed on the very platform we have to repair. Come, let us return to work. When will he stop acting like this? It came without warning. My son? They have my son? What is to be done with him? We did everything we could. What is to be done with him? He's to be executed. Today. No. I won't allow it. But what can we do? Majduddin will hear no appeals. He says there can be no barter with God's will. This is not God's will, but madness. I'll go to him myself. Where is he? He will attend the execution, perform it even. He enjoys the act. Truly evil man. We have no time to lose then. Let's go. You are not allowed to be here. Leave. Damned archers. We are to launch an assault against one of Medjduddin's lieutenants. But we cannot do anything until the rooftops have been cleared. And I have no men to spare. Would you be willing to help? Just make sure they do not see you coming, or we will have to begin again. Leave, peasant, before I make it. Consume the land, and thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It seems a tragedy. But I say, this is an honor, to die in service to God, fighting for what we believe in. There is no greater glory than this. I stand before you to deliver a warning. Should Richard take Jaffa, there will be Away with no you. stopping him. He will march on Jerusalem next. We must end this. Before Leave, peasant, before I make you. There is nothing more insidious than one who turns his back on the law. For the law was given to us by God. Glorious and exalted is he. To defy it is to disrespect him. And there is no great... The English king and his infidel army. They leave horrors in their way. I'm starting to understand why Al-Mualim favors you. I assume you have been sent to deal with Merjduddin, yes? then it might help you to know that he enjoys lecturing his prisoners before executing them. While doing so, he turns his back to the crowd. It would be the perfect moment for you to strike. Now, I must attend to my men. We have our own targets to deal with. Even when this happens, we are returned to a proper course. Confess to him, and he will show mercy. But, should you try to run, to hide, you will be found and made to pay. There is no harm in naming them, those among you who defy the law. We are nothing without our faith, without its rules and its direction. To defy it is to defy the one who leads us. Such behavior cannot be allowed. Oh, my God. 
my life. What is it? You know Mejduddin well? Better than most. He seems a bit too righteous. Is the law really so important to him? What do you think? I think he hides something, and I think you'll tell me what it is. It's a veil. All of it. Men like me, we are meant to scare them, fill the people with fear. The ones he kills, not criminals, but dangerous all the same. Dangerous to who? His plans. Their plans. Yes, he speaks of others. Those he works with. Works for, perhaps. I am uncertain. They need the city, though. Controlling it is important to them. Why? You'll have to ask him yourself. Attend one of his executions. It's when he's most talkative, addressing the crowd, hands covered in blood. Then we are done. <laughs> You again, Grandmaster. Safety and peace. I'm so glad to see you. In these troubled times, they ask me to prove myself. But I feel so inadequate when I compare myself to you. I must kill two of Mujduddin's men without a fight. Could you show me the way? I will be forever grateful and share a very interesting story with you. something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. I beg of you. I beg of you just a few coins, please. How about you turn around and go away? No, please don't leave. Just a few coins, please. best the clan has ever seen. Here is my story, Master. I was cleaning the temple steps. I overheard two scholars praising how easy it was for them to pass the soldiers guarding the entrance of the execution plaza. If you time your entry properly, they could provide a nice distraction for the guards. But I am sure that with your wisdom, you knew that already. What news, novice? I am not a novice. A man's skill is defined by his actions, not the markings on his robe. We can trade barbs or do El Muallim's work. It's your decision. Then be out with it. Jerusalem's regent Mejduddin is holding a public execution not far from here. It's sure to be well guarded, but it's nothing I can't handle. I know what to do. And that is why you remain a novice in my eyes. You cannot know anything, only suspect. You must expect to be wrong, to have overlooked something. Anticipate, Altair. How many times must I remind you of this? As you wish. Are we done? Not quite. There is one more thing. One of the men to be executed is a brother. One of us. al Mulim wishes for him to be saved. Do not worry about the actual rescue. My men will take care of that. But you must ensure Majduddin does not take his life. I won't give him the chance. So I hope. Fast forwarding memories. 
to a more recent one. Jerusalem, hear me well. I stand here today to deliver a warning. There are malcontents among you. They saw the seeds of discontent, hoping to lead you astray. Tell me, is this what you desire? To be mired in deceit and sin? To live your lives in fear? Then you wish to take action? Your devotion pleases me. This evil must be purged. Only then can we hope to be redeemed. This is not justice. And all of you stand idle, complicit in this crime. See how the evil of one man spreads to corrupt others? They sought to instill fear and doubt within you, but I will keep you safe. Here now are four filled with sin. The harlot, the thief, the gambler, the heretic. Let God's judgment be brought down upon them all! Temptress! Succubus! She goes by many names. Sin remains the same. She turned her back on the teaching, defiled her body to advance her station. Each man she touched forever stained. This man speaks lies. I am here today not because I laid down with other men, for I did not. He means to murder me because I would not lie down with him. Even now, offered redemption, she continues to deceive. She rejects salvation. There is... <laughs> <laughs> Your work here is finished. No, no, it had only just begun. Tell me, what's your part in all of this? Do you intend to defend yourself as the others have and explain away your evil deeds? The Brotherhood wanted the city. I wanted power. There was an opportunity. An opportunity to murder innocents. 
Not so innocent. Dissident voices cut deep as steel. They disrupt order. In this, I do agree with the Brotherhood. You kill people simply for believing differently than you. Of course not. I killed them because I could. Because it was fun. Do you know what it feels like to determine another man's fate? And did you see the way the people cheered? The way they feared me? I was like a god. You'd have done the same if you could. Such power. Once, perhaps. But then I learned what becomes of those who lift themselves above others. And what is that? Here, let me show you. Jerusalem needs a new ruler. So I have heard. What's this? No words of wisdom for me? Surely I have failed in some spectacular fashion. You performed as an assassin should. No more, no less. That you expect praise for merely doing as told, however, troubles me. It seems everything I do troubles you. Reflect on that. But do so on your way back to Masyaf. Your work here is done. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. I trust you are well rested? Ready for your remaining trials? I am, but I'd speak with you first. I have questions. Ask them. I'll do my best to answer. The Merchant King of Damas murdered the nobles who ruled his city. Mejdeddin in Jerusalem used fear to force his people into submission. I suspect William meant to murder Richard and hold Akka with his troops. These men were meant to aid their leaders. Instead, they chose to betray them. What I do not understand is why. Is the answer not obvious? The Templars desire control. Each man, as you've noted, wanted to claim their cities in the Templar name, that the Templars themselves might rule the Holy Land and eventually beyond. But they cannot succeed in their mission. Why is that? Their plans depend upon the Templar treasure, the Peace of Eden. But we hold it now, and they cannot hope to achieve their goals without it. What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just a piece of silver. Look at it. 
What am I supposed to see? This piece of silver cast out Adam and Eve. It turned staves into snakes, parted and closed the Red Sea. Eris used it to start the Trojan War, and with it a poor carpenter turned water into wine. It seems rather plain for all the power you claim it has. How does it work? He who holds it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it. Whoever tastes of it, as they say. Then Gagne's men? An experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects, to be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them. Tamir equipped them. They were preparing for something. But what? War. And the others, the men who ruled the cities, they meant to gather up their people, make them like Gagne's men. The perfect citizens, the perfect soldiers, a perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. So long as he and his brothers live, they will try. Then they must be destroyed. Which is what I've had you doing. There are two more Templars who require your attention. One in Akka, known as Sibran. One in Damas, called Jubair. Visit with the Bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further. As you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success. His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the White Hood. They'll be looking for you. They won't find me. I'm but a blade in the crowd. Here, my gift to you, in gratitude for the good work you've done. 